How's it going, everyone? Luxley, I'm Mal Havix, my Worgen Warlock. And for those of you who are like, what, what is he doing? Warlocks, Warlocks, you know, Shadow Priest, Hunter, maybe, Maze, okay. Boomkin, okay, we'll deal with it. But Warlocks, well, here's the deal. Warlock is the first class I got to max level, level 80 uh, in Wrath of the Lich King. And I've always had a special place in my heart for Warlocks that Dreadsteed happens to be, even though it's a very common mount now, it was special because you used to have to actually earn it back in the day, but that happens to be my favorite mount. Worgen is my favorite race, and here I am playing a Warlock and plan to play a lot more of a Warlock. I played it throughout Lich King, Kata, Mop, and abandoned it in Warlords of Drain all the fun, and my th reasoning was this. They took away Felflame, and they six 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 six. Let me try to say the word right. Significantly nerfed Kill Jaden's Cunning, which allowed you to move while casting certain spells. Uh, I did not like that. Mobility is a huge thing for me. Mobility can always compensate for a lack of damage in the sense that mobility helps you set up more opportunities. By being mobile, you can do that. By being mobile, you're able to put yourself in positions in strange places that you can learn how to survive in. And survival is key. Survival's key in arena because if you die, you basically may lose. If you're in a BG, if you're constantly visiting the graveyard, you're not achieving objectives and you're certainly not helping your team. And certainly with raids, it's the same exact thing. Uh, you might get bang up DPS for the first 10 or 20 or 30 percent of the fight, but if you constantly die, it doesn't matter if you're top, you gotta stay alive because if you're dead, dead men cannot do DPS. And I think mobility is huge. So they gimped it uh, in my perception, but not necessarily in reality, because I saw a lot of Destro Warlocks, Affliction Warlocks really kick ass in PvP, particularly Battlegrounds and Raided Battlegrounds. And uh, my perception was not true about that lack of mobility. My perception now is very true about lack of mobility, but that could be said for any given caster in the game right now, especially when some of these melee classes have a 70% slow, uh, some of which they could use every 20, not, not, maybe not 20 seconds, but 30 or 40 seconds. Oh, this guy's in for a world to hurt. He's got the beam, he's got... Here, here's a little bit of a tip uh, that I picked up from playing a warlock uh you're not catching anybody okay you're probably one of other than an elemental shaman you're probably one of the least mobile dps casters in the game so if someone starts to run away and run out of range uh or you anticipate that they're going to do that soon and generally they're going to do that if they start to run low on health and they have nothing that can no defenses no healing what they're going to do is you kind of can sense when they're going to do that and when they do that you want to hit drain life because every other you're not going to catch them and you're going to have to stop and hard cast every single spell regardless of what it is except for confagulate and shadow burn but the reality is as they're running away you can still be draining life on them they could literally go completely across the map as long as you get that drain life on them while they're in range still it will work pretty much forever <laughs> so that's a really good thing and that's something you want to keep in mind as a warlock always use drain life as they're running away or you anticipate that they're going to die soon because their instinct is going to be run away unless they have their defenses and in pvp especially a battleground which is something that lasts a ballpark of about uh, seven or eight times longer than an arena or a skirmish, chances are they're not always going to have their cooldowns, uh, defensive and healing cooldowns. So that's just a little bit of a tip, something I, and something I recently learned. But, I mean, the game is constantly changing, and uh, you're constantly learning and relearning different things and things that might have been a go-to thing in the past, like for me, Kill Jaden's Cunning and Fell Flame. If you really find the class fun and you really find the class interesting, you're going to find a way to make it work. And that's precisely how I feel about Warlocks right now. And thanks for playing, Mr. Druid. But another thing I want to point out is the dominance that my team has, which means that I'm able to free cast quite a bit. Yeah, I do get into a scrap and people almost feel like giving me an invita invitation to the graveyard here and there. But overall, I'm able to survive. And the, and the key is that 
if your team is remaining alive, if your team is constantly in the fight, that means that they're keeping the attention and keeping p other players of the oppo uh, uh, the opponent's side, in other words, the enemy, if they're keeping them busy, the fact of the matter is that means that you're not in a position where you're going to be facing a lot of 1v2s, 1v3s, 1v4s, which is precisely what's going on here. Now, this is a good thing. I mean, it's one thing when you have a lot of time to free cast and you're able to do damage and you're able to really do things very effectively and hit an optimum level uh you know there are people that have this opportunity and they're still nowhere near the top in damage they're still not making an impact but i'm able to make an in impact here and i'm able to make an impact because my team is performing extraordinarily well e even though the match is relatively close right now i mean the hoarder are winning but we end up having a pretty decent turnaround here in this bg and and there are times i do get some pressure i'm but right now, see, here, here's the Demon Hunter. See, if they're constantly low on health, which you saw the Demon Hunter and now you see the Rogue, their first inclination is going to be run away, especially when they don't have their defensive cooldowns and healing. And if you keep them on the run, that means they're not DPSing. I mean, just look over to the right, which is kind of two notches below the map there. You could see that the, that the Horde team, a lot of them are dead. A lot of them are getting taken out. And that is going to create opportunity for casters that are dps and it's going to create opportunity for healers that can heal so it it's real it really does help when you're when your teammates are certainly commanding the attention of players on the other team because here i am okay i'm in a 1v2 but a manageable 1v2 i mean uh you know, we took it, we were able to take out the druid right away, and now I get a little bit of help. Is that failed wizard? No. I don't know, is it? I forgot if he was in. Yeah, failed wizard! Hey, buddy! <laughs> I forgot he was in here with me. Ah, what's wrong with me? I guess because I, I just record so many of these. And you guys don't are, don't know that a lot of times I, I record pretty much everything that I do as far as PvP goes in-game, and the majority of it, the overwhelming majority of it actually gets deleted. I... I, I don't want to show something that is not good gameplay on my part or not good gameplay on a team part. I mean, there have been times I've performed very pedestrian, very mediocre, but it was a really close game and maybe we capped at the last minute or preventing them from capping at the last minute, that sort of thing. That, I think, is good content. I'm just always looking to both be entertaining that's what I always aim to do first, is be entertaining. And the second thing, informative. And then the third thing is provide good gameplay. But I, I kind of stress all three. I have a demon hunter who really likes me and really wants to kill me. And now Bear. Hey, Bear. Well, he's going to go down, I hope. But this demon hunter is constantly on top of me. So I found a new nemesis. It's a demon hunter, just like rogues and ferals. That's that all. You see, here he is. He's out of range, but I was able to get drain life on him, which gave me some extra life and was, I mean, it doesn't do max damage, but it's better than no damage in that scenario because there's really not much else that I could use there uh, being out of range uh, and or anticipating that his goal is going to get out of range. I mean, I could probably hit him with a chaos bolt or a emulate or a confagulate or something like that, but uh, he gets out of range. I'm done. I, I don't have that speed boost that a priest has. I don't have a blink like a boomkin or a mage. So the fact of the matter is, uh, he get it's very easy for them to get out of range. And here we are. Got two of them set up perfectly. And uh, the, the druid's trying to do his job there. He's he's actually doing a good job trying to keep me and, and the mage from damaging his flag carriers. But... I don't know where he is now. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. He tried. He had the right idea. He just couldn't execute. And uh, there's a rogue. He's down for the count. Now we got to take the warrior out. He's trying to get away. He's got some kind of slow on him. He's not getting far. He's walking right. Oh, he's dead. Thanks for playing. Ooh. See, now now, now I'm getting some, some big damage on me. It looks like it's... it's uh, it's the Shadow Priest hiding over there. Oh, no, that's not a Shadow Priest. That's a Disc Priest. 
Oh, I'm actually getting heals. Guys, you do see this, right? <laughs> this is not a mirage. I am actually, oh my god. So that's what it's like when you get heals in a battleground. Wow. That is really cool. That should, I wish that happened more often. <laughs> how, do, how does that happen? Let me know how you get healing in a battleground. I don't know. Saved my life. That's for sure. But that, that's exactly what I'm saying. See, here I am. I'm, I'm getting damaged by a disc priest, and there was some other class that was doing damage to me uh, while I was trying to achieve an objective, and a healer was able to free cast and heal me pretty much from nowhere. I mean, kudos to this monk healer. Uh, this monk healer really did an excellent job. I believe she's a night elf. Uh, she did an epic job uh, for our team here. She and, and healers, I've always said, and will still say, are the difference between winning and losing. Uh, you could give me an average DPS and an excellent healer any given time. I'd rather have that than an average healer and an excellent DPS. What are your thoughts on that? Leave it in the comments. And tell me your thoughts from all three aspects of the game, as far as arena goes, as far as battlegrounds go, and as far as raids go. In my opinion and experience, I'd rather have the excellent healer and the average DPS 100% of the time across the board. Because I, th I, I truly think a good healer, a healer who knows how to stay alive, a healer who knows how to not get himself locked out of healing spells, is going to be a strong asset. This is Luxley saying whatever it is by you, morning, afternoon, or night, make it epic. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.